hi everyone today i have a new video for you and this video is related to the topic of equation of time and uh, today i will take up example 2 in this topic i hope you have seen my previous video on equation of time and uh, that video discussed the theory behind it as well as discussed example 1 uh, today i will take up a new example to enhance your knowledge about solving these questions if you get one in the exam so in today's question you have to find the equation of time at uh, about 1500 hours gmt time when the gha of the sun was 42 degrees 4.7 minutes all right so just a quick recap of what is equation of time equation of time was the difference between mean time and apparent time all right so difference between mean time and apparent time so i say difference that means uh, whichever is greater will be written first and whichever is smaller will be written later all right so it will is it's but it is a uh, termed positive if mean time is greater than apparent time so if mean time is greater than apparent time then it is equation of time is positive equation of time would be negative if mean time is less than the apparent time if apparent time is more then the equation of time is termed negative but you never get a negative number you call it positive or negative all right so if you don't remember i'll discuss further that mean time is obtained from the movement of the mean sun whereas uh, the apparent time is obtained from the movement of the true sun so mean sun as you probably know is a fictional sun which takes uh, 24 hours to uh, rotate about its orbit whereas true sun is the real sun the sun that we see in the sky which does not take exactly 24 hours every day it takes varying time and that's why it cannot be used as a means of timekeeping that's why we use the concept of mean sun which gives us exactly 24 hours to do our calculation so when we say 1500 hours is the gmt time it means greenwich mean time so 1500 hours of gmt is based on mean sun which is the fictional sun all right that is the time uh, based on the mean sun's movement so we have to find the time based on the true sun's movement and the difference between these two times will give us the equation of time and if the mean time is more then the equation of time will be positive if it's lesser than the apparent time it will be negative all right so we have a, so how do we find out the time based on the apparent sun or rather the true sun all right so for that we have been given a hint that the gha of the sun so when i say gha of sun we mean true sun that means the sun that we see in the sky is true sun that is equal to 42 degrees 04.7 minutes now this is a westerly angle that is measured from the inferior meridian of greenwich so what does that mean that means that if you have a celestial sphere here and this is your greenwich meridian we call it celestial greenwich now this is a celestial sphere of infinite radius and this is your celestial greenwich meridian right so this is your celestial greenwich meridian and corresponding to that you will have an inferior meridian of greenwich as well you can call it g dash if you want to just like on the earth's surface we have the prime meridian and the anti meridian so the prime meridian is the longitude of 000 and the anti meridian is on the opposite side of the earth of we say is uh, longitude is 180 degrees similarly in the celestial sphere you will have a greenwich meridian and a inferior meridian so this is the inferior meridian which is on the uh, you can say on the opposite side of the celestial sphere all right uh, as depends on where you view it from all right now that angle is measured so if i say gha of the sun is 42 degrees 4.7 now you probably know that gha is an angle measured westerly from the greenwich meridian so if i go westerly from the greenwich meridian this becomes gha all right and this becomes my true sun true sun i'll call it ts true sun so my uh, apparent time greenwich or gha true sun will be measured in the celestial sphere for time purposes will be measured from the inferior meridian so that means i will add 180 degrees to it all right so for time purposes i will add 180 degrees to it so if i say if i have to call it a greenwich apparent time so greenwich apparent time is g a t 
this is based on true sun will be based on 180 degrees plus the GHA which is equal to 180 degrees and what is GHA 42 degrees 4.7 minutes this is equal to 42 degrees 4.7 minutes which is equal to 2 to 2 degrees 4.7 minutes but this is not time this is an angle right you can see that this is an angle this is not time sorry about that so to get the time to get the greenwich apparent time we will what we will do is we will take triple 2 degrees 4.7 minutes and divide it by 15 all right so every 15 degrees is one hour as we probably know so that's why we'll divide it by 15 and what we get is 14 hours 48 minutes and 19 seconds all right so again just to recap the greenwich the gha true sun is measured from the celestial greenwich meridian to the true sun which was 42 degrees 4.7 but for finding the time we have to find the angle of the true sun from the inferior meridian of the greenwich so in this case we will add 180 degrees to it and we get a total angle of triple 2 degrees 4.7 but to convert it into time greenwich apparent time we will divide triple 2 degrees 4.7 minutes by 15 because every 15 degrees is 1 hour for which we get 14 hours 48 minutes 19 seconds All right so your equation of time will be equal to gmt minus gat so your gmt is given to you as 1500 hours in the question is given to you that is your gmt and your gat is 14 hours 48 minutes and 19 seconds right so what's the difference between these two the difference between these two is 11 minutes and 41 seconds now you have to see which one is larger so of course if green which uh, mean time was more than green which apparent time so your mean sun will be somewhere here right because that was 1500 hours so your true sun is about uh, you know it's about triple two degrees 4.7 so it was 14 hours 48 minutes 19 point 19 seconds so therefore uh, that would be behind the mean sun so mean gmt time is more so you can see this is the equation of time this red dot here the difference between mean sun and true sun so as i told you at the very beginning that if the mean time is more than the apparent time which is the case here your equation of time will be positive so because 1500 hours is more than 14 hours 48 minutes 19 seconds so you can see gmt is greater than gat right 1500 hours is more so you will call the equation of time as positive so this is your answer equation of time is 11 minutes 41 seconds and i think i have told you in my previous video that the value of equation time normally doesn't exist or not, not doesn't exceed 16 minutes and 22 seconds all right so the, in this case it, this makes sense so this is pretty much the solution of it so let me know if you have any doubts regarding this question and how to solve it um, i look forward to your feedback and comments uh, which helps me to address your learning needs so thank you for watching the videos thank you for supporting the channel and good luck with your studies bye for now and i'll see you soon with my next video which will help you with your exams and your learning